me. I said, how the hell are you? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a hell of a day. Now, sometimes when I say, we've had a hell of a day, that's a good thing. Sometimes when I say, we've had a hell of a day, it's not a good thing. Today, it wasn't real good. We, uh, let me tell you, we were supposed to be here at 3 o'clock, and uh, we planned on being early to hang out because we heard there's some cool guitar shops and stuff real close. We got here at 8, <laughs> and uh, that was uh, because we got shook down by some Belgian cops for a lot of money. 800 euros is what they wanted before they'd give us our passports back. Yeah. Yeah, so there's not much you can do when you're a foreign person in a foreign land. So it's very nice to see friendly faces. Let me tell you what. So here's the deal. Here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. I want to do so I want to I really feel like I really feel like dancing. So that's what we're going to do. All right? I hope that's okay. So Max, if you would drop us a beat here for me, would you? All right now. Drink that in a little bit. Drink it in. And then I'm going to sing you a song about my dear old dad. Everybody pray. 
one way to sound check all the guitars. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll keep with this one. I'll keep with this one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm starting to get warmed up. So are these guitars. Are you getting warmed up? That's what I want to know. Eh, I'm not so sure. We're going to find out right now. I want everybody to get a fist in the air right now. Everybody! Every, I didn't say put it down. Put it back up. Put that fist right back in that air right now. Gentlemen, 
this song right here is a song I wrote about how I learned how to play the guitar. It's called Front Porch Train. Front porch. I'm front porch. I'm front porch. I'm front porch. I'm front porch. Front porch. I'm front porch. I'm front porch. I'm front porch. I'm front porch. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to know, anyone in here not ever seen us before? Who's never seen us before? I can't see. Make noise. Are you surprised how good looking we are? We are better looking than we our pictures, though, right? I mean, seriously. <laughs> well, if you've never seen us before, then I should explain how it is I play this guitar, I think. Don't you think people that have seen us before? I want to explain a little bit, just in case you're wondering. You see, 
There's no loop pedals. There's no octave pedal. There's no iPod playing bass tracks. There's no computer somewhere playing music. It's just real human hands and real instruments plugged into speakers. That's all that's happening up here. And in fact, this next instrument I'm going to play right now is a very cheap-ass guitar I bought in Louisville, Kentucky for 300 U.S. dollars. Which is like, uh, what, four or five pounds, I think, something like that. <laughs> something like that. It's better than that now. It's more like six or seven pounds now. But, uh, but anyway, this isn't even a nice guitar. In fact, word to the wise, if you're going to travel all over the world playing music, spend more than $300 for a guitar, all right? The neck's falling off this thing two times, and I've super glued it back on. That's literally what's happening up here. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not kidding at all. So I'm going to play. I want to show you something. Oh, and anyone, any guitar pickers out here? You see people that are like, no, no. All right. I just wanted to let you know this thing is standard tune. Let me show you. E chord. C, D, G, F, F sharp. This is just a regular old guitar. So what I do is I play one of the oldest styles of American music that there is, the American country blues, what it is. Finger style country blues. And originally, the best of the old country blues pickers. And this is a dying art, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. And the reason why is because it's hard. <laughs> but in the best of the old country blues pickers, your bass player was your thumb. All right, and that's what I do. Let me show you what I'm talking about. While my thumb plays bass without the aid of robots, my fingers play the lead. Let me show you what I'm talking about. goodness I'm sorry about that 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 went on way too long that got to be gratuitous showing off I apologize for that he never he never does that I almost never do that I'm so sorry about that I promise I'll get back to singing songs how about this one this song's called pot roast and kisses <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that song's on our new record. And uh, we, got a, we got a new record that's out. It's called Front Porch Sessions. And uh, we're real proud of the way it turned out. And uh, we're going to play you some songs off of it tonight. That's what you're supposed to do when you have a new record out by God. So don't give any crap about it. The songs are good or I wouldn't play them. You know me better than that. But uh, this next song I want to do uh, is, is kind of interesting. This is another one off the, uh, off the new record, and uh, this is actually an old fiddle song, right? It's sometimes referred to by musicologists as a pre-blues fiddle song. But I'm here to tell you this is really a blues song, and uh, I'll tell you why. It's because it's in the real blues scale. And I'm not talking about the pentatonic peak blues scale you're going to learn down at your local guitar shop. I'm talking about the real blues scale. And you can't play the real old time blues scale and play the frets. You gotta have one of these and play between the frets. There's a whole lot of magic that happens. And this song, all the magic is between the frets. There's hardly anything right on them frets, let me tell you what. And I learned this song from the Pratcher Brothers. They recorded five songs for Alan Lomax way the hell back in the day. And uh, that's it, that's the only thing that we've got of the Pratcher Brothers, five songs. We, everything else they ever did is lost to time, we'll never know. But those five songs made them one of my favorite bands of all time. Miles and Bob. They, one played the guitar, the other played the fiddle. What I want to do for you right now is I'm going to play both parts, both the guitar part and the fiddle part at the same time on the resonator guitar. So this, this song's called It's All Night Long. Ladies and gentlemen, this song right here is one of my favorite songs I ever made up. And uh, I wanted people to hear this damn song so bad, I set a human being on fire inside of my own house. In the hopes that people would, would that would get people to listen to the song. That's how tough, let me tell you something. That's how tough the music business is, all right? Not only are you shook down by Belgian cops from time to time for a bunch of money, but then you set your best friend on fire inside your own house 
And I bet half y'all haven't even seen the damn video. It's tough out here, ladies and gentlemen. It's tough. It is, it's tough. But the song is good. It's called We Deserve a Happy Ending. And if you get the spirit in you, and I hope you will, help us sing the choruses as we, as we get going on, all right? Will you? Yeah. I said, will you?
you so much. Thank you so much. I'm gonna stick with this guitar right now. I'm, I'm feeling this guitar right now. I, uh, I, have a, uh, I have a tendency to sometimes, it's a thing I do, and I'm the only person I know on planet Earth that does it, but uh, I, like to, I like to do what would be normally played on the fiddle, sometimes with the slide. And uh, it's because I, I used to, well, not used to, I still do. I, I love all those old Charlie Patton records with, uh, with uh, Sun Sims playing the fiddle on it, you know? And when I was a, when I was a kid, you know, I, I, I sort of didn't really, when I was real little learning how to play, I didn't really differentiate between the slide and the fiddle. I just played all the parts, you know what I mean? And uh, so then I kind of liked playing some old, you know, blues fiddle music on with the slide. So this song right here is actually kind of an old string band song. So this is an old song on our new record. I didn't write this one. This song has a legend that goes with it. Can I tell you the legend? Yeah. I like legends myself, and this one's kind of got a good one. This song was played live on the radio in North Carolina in like the late 1930s, early 1940s, all right? It was considered obscene at the time, very obscene. So the people that played it, when they played it, they anonymously played it. They didn't want to say who they were, all right? So they played the song, and then they wouldn't say who they were, but everybody loved it, all right? And through the years, different bands have covered it. The first band I actually heard play it live was, believe it or not, a band from New York City. New York City! Called the Wyos. The Wyos. Anyone remember the Wyos? Yeah. They were a great band. They don't really play anymore. You know, it was many years ago. Uh, I think I was a teenager when I first saw them play. And uh, Then there was a band that, uh, that played, uh, that was, uh, I bet some of you heard of them. They were called the Carolina Chocolate Drops. And they played this song, and then they broke up, went their separate ways. And, uh, and I told Breezy, I said, man, no one's playing this song that I know of. You know what I mean? And it's a good song. I'd hate to let it just disappear. And I kind of think we could do a pretty good version of it. And if anyone deserves to do a good version of this song, it's us. So I worked up a little arrangement of it. And I play all the fiddle parts with the bottleneck slide here. I hope you like it. It's called Cornbread and Butter Beans, and it's on a new record. Oh, and I want to apologize in advance for the obscene lyrics in this song, so. Oh, 
ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna do a crazy thing right now. I'm gonna do a thing that uh, is not very wise, but here's the problem. We are good at music, we are bad at business. All right, that's really what it is. This song's not on a record. And we get asked for, for all the time, put that song on a record. And we're like, eh, I don't know. I think it's better live. Uh, you know, and I do. I think it's better live. I don't know if I'm ever going to put this song on a record. I'm not sure. But, uh, but I'm going to play it for you right now. I think some things ought to go out for the people that come to the shows. You know what I mean? So that's what this is. This is for the people that come to the shows. And also, this is a really great way for me to show off the big damn band. This is a back home song I call the Bean Blossom Boogie.
Ladies and gentlemen, I need your help with this next song. Here's the deal. I think you know what to do. I think you do. If you do not, look around and follow suit. All right? Don't be the person not having fun with us because you'll be a stick in the mud. That's not a good thing. You say that here? You call people a st old stick in the mud? You say that? You know what I mean? All right. I don't know. We say a lot of weird things back home, too, so I don't know if that's a weird one that translates or not. It doesn't sound good, though. You don't well, want to be that Translates weird. into what? Translates to their language? Well, no, like things like, uh, you know, like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, toad in a hole and stuff. We don't know what that is. That means a frog in, a, in the dirt, you know, like things like that. There's a lot of things you say. I have no idea what it really means, you know what I mean? I'm sure vice versa. You know, half these people probably can't even understand what I'm saying, Breezy. Is what's probably, they're like, oh, okay. Including people on stage. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, do not let me down, all right? I said, do not let me down, all right?
called Devils Look Like Angels. I'm trying to get through as many as I can. They're telling me I can't play as many as I'm going to play what I got. I'm going to try. This song is called You Can't Judge a Book by Its Cover. It's an old Willie Dixon song we've been playing. I think it's an important song, so I'm going to play it. Here we go. Well, you can't judge an apple by looking at the tree. And you can't judge a honey by looking at the bee. Judge a book by looking at the cover. Well, you can't judge a sugar by looking at the cane. And you can't judge a woman by looking at her man. And you can't judge a sister by looking at her brother. You can't judge a book 
by looking at the cover. Can't you see? You may judge me. Judge a book by looking at the cover. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. I, uh, there's a, a pretty strict curfew, I guess, so uh, we, uh, we were running close to it. But if you put it like that, we're gonna try to get one more song. And what do you say? And uh, I wanna say thanks to, to Arms and Hearts for opening up the show and playing with us and being so cool about us being late. And, uh, you know, I, I, and I apologize to you all, too. We had to sound check, like, between, right in front of everybody. So it a uh, big pain in the butt. But I promise you it's not our fault. It's, it's, it's some Belgian cop there with a whole bunch of money in his pocket. Boo is right. Now, bring me the ax. So, this is a real axe, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a replica. This is not a toy. You can see videos on the internet of me splitting wood and playing it at the same time. It's the real thing. That's why the cover's on it. But before I play this, I want to remind you all that uh, we have stuff for sale. Like new vinyl and new CDs and T-shirts and cool things like that. 
And, uh, you know, if you were thinking about, oh, man, maybe I'll buy something. Uh, just remember we lost a whole bunch of money, some Belgian assholes. So, you know, you know, remember that. I'm not trying to, you know. But anyway, I'm going to quit John and get to picking on this axe, what he said. Let's see how, things, how she sounds today.
They're gonna be mad at me. You better yell at this song or I'm gonna be so pissed off. Don't make me come off this stage. You better know what you're doing. gentlemen thank you so much from bottom of my heart we got more shows in the united kingdom tell your friends now we'll see you next time